turned on the seatbelt light. Please take your seat and fasten your seatbelts. Thank you. Hello again. I hope you're getting some good use out of your translation memories. Of course, you might need to make changes to your translation memory at some point. Luckily, Lingo makes editing a translation memory easy. Let's take a look at how it's done. Select the Resources ribbon, click Edit TM, then select your translation memory. The translation memory editor opens. Here you can see all the segments in your translation memory. In the editor, locate the segment you want to edit. From there, it's a piece of cake. All you have to do is type in the new source or target translation. Then save your work. Your translation will be updated the next time you use it. If you changed the source segment, Lingo will look for the new source instead of the old one. If you change the target segment, Lingo will start using that translation. In the editor, you can also add new translation memory segments by clicking the New Item button in the local toolbar. The new translation unit appears at the bottom of the page, and you can enter the source and target that you want to add to the translation memory. If you need to remove segments from the translation memory, click the Delete Rows button in the local toolbar. The rows you've selected will be removed from the translation memory. The translation memory also has a neat feature, metadata. Metadata is added to each segment when you create it and as you edit it, and you can use it to help you filter or clean up the translation memory. To view the metadata for a translation, click the Metadata button next to the segment. You can see all the information about that translation unit, when it was created, who last edited it, and what language each segment is in. You can even see information about the document, client, project, and domain. This information is gathered from the project the translation is part of. You can use any of this information to filter the translation memory. To do this, click the Filter button in the local toolbar. Then use the drop-downs to select the metadata you want to use as a filter. Let's say you want to find all the segments a certain translator worked on. You'd filter by creator, like this. Click OK. And now look at how many fewer segments appear in the editor. It's a lot easier to find segments with metadata filters. To reset the filters, click the Reset button, and you'll see all the segments again. You can also use metadata to find and replace in the translation memory. From the TM Cleanup drop-down in the local toolbar, select TM Find and Replace. Now enter the word you want to find and the word you want to replace it with. Then use the drop-downs to filter the translation memory to only find certain segments. For example, if one of your clients changed the terminology in its documentation, you should also change it in your translation. So you could filter by client and find only segments pertaining to that client. At the same time, you could replace the word in all of those segments. Metadata is also great if you need to delete segments. Let's say you no longer do work for a certain client, so you want to delete all of that client's translations from your translation memory. From the TM Cleanup drop-down, select TM Delete. Now use the metadata drop-downs to filter the translation memory. This time, when you click OK, you'll delete all the segments that match the metadata you chose. This is permanent, so be sure you made the right selections. You can also use metadata to clean up duplicate segments in your translation memory. This is handy if you've imported segments from several different TMX files, or you've added lots of different segments over time. Again, select the TM Cleanup drop-down from the local toolbar, then select TM Cleanup. When you click OK, this will remove all the duplicate translations from the translation memory. Now that you know how to edit and filter the translation memory, working with translations in Lingo will be even faster and more efficient. Enjoy!